Hi guys, this is the Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Last time on What If Ducky was claimed by a female alpha. The day finally arrived for the um, UA Sports Festival. <coughs> as um, Izuku knows, Luna's keeping something. He knows that she wants to tell him something, but he doesn't know. So he decided to let things settle until after the sports festival as Yuna did inform him that he's going to tell him afterwards unknown to Izuku that is that um, Luna has Izuku's child as she told Reiko as Reiko has kind of been like the kind of the thin mother role of the, of the group at the moment right now as Izuku dominated the, the tournament the sports festival until they until he came to face to face with Jade. As we're going to start off where we left off. As Jade, you know, is a knight in her full cowling. As she's, she's skilled enough to unlock it pretty fast. Because she's already have a quirk prior to, to getting um one for all. As... She's pretty smart, so she caught on to All Might's very bad explanation about his power, how he activates it, so she caught on. There was no bra uh, bone-breaking incident, because she's not stupid, so. And Jade's very fit, because she comes from a hunter family, so. She's been trained since, since she's a little girl, so she's more than capable of, um, Taking all my quirk without you know training for it, she's or she's already a physical fit for it. It's immediately Izuku and um Jade disappear as they reappear as there's as they collide fists as there's many sh oh sorry many shock waves going off from the impact of, of um her using all my quirk. One for all, and Izuku using his electricity ability, uh, electricity ability, boosting up his muscles for more physical feat activities. As fighting and doubling his strength in a extreme amount of level. As they would continue doing this for several minutes, as they would disappear, reappear, as they would both both try to strike. As Izuku's um smart enough to uh, you know. He's been done. He's been. Oh, sorry. Izuku's been studying her fighting style, and he's it's similar to his. So, as Jade and Izuku, as they got a solid hit, as they both hit each other, as they both jump backwards, I think it's about time we um about to we finish this, sis. I agree, brother. As she's going to go for, you know, a full amount she's able to, um, uh, see, what amount should I give her for, um, for all for one? Um, let's see. Percentage-wise. Let's say at this current state, she's only, like, what, maybe 10%? 15's kind of pushing it. So let's say about 11, about 11 or 12%. As forms of, sorry, as light, black lightning bolts starts appearing in the air. Oh, sorry, in the air, facing, um, pointing at, um, sorry, as they appear all around Izuku, as they all point at, um, Jade. As Izuku's using, um, as Izuku, you know, cricks the grin, dodge this, sis. Dead, uh, sorry, death bolt barrage as the lightning gets thrown, uh, the lightning bolt's getting thrown at, um, e, um, Jade as she's ducking it around, um, dodging it as, um, the lightning bolts are following her as in the middle, she was about to, as you think he was about to hit the final blow as one of the audience, what's that in the sky? As, is that some sort of, you know, gag? Is, are we like, is this like, are they doing a movie set around here? 
So everyone sees these small, uh, these small aircraft flying around, all around um, the area where they're in. As yeah, um, this is happening all around the world. As whoever this is is single manually attacking all at once. As it drops, you know, some um, glowing. As it drops the payload, it's pretty much a bomb. As there is a loud explosion from outside of the USJ as everyone's freaking out have Izumi as she was watching it back at the uh, at the um sorry outpost where she's supposed to station at to um, gather um civilians if the worst comes to happen as she immediately um jumps out of the chair as it goes to her vehicle you know uh vehicle deck could hold a bunch of people as she begins the operation of um Rescuing people and directing them to the ships that uh, I Island is um, moved close to um, close to Japan, as they're just they're going to use it as a refuge. They're trying to get they're trying to rescue as much people as possible, as a lot of the big tier heroes are. Um, there's a few of them that weren't at the sports festival, in case wars comes to happen. So. Nezu had them, you know, immediately when they attack, when things go wrong, they immediately, you know, gather civilians and stuff nature because, you know, they're under attack. And, um, yeah, Nezu's not them. She immediately exits out of full counting and she rushes over to her brother. Brother, what, what, um, what's the plan? As she knows of the alien invasion because, um, her family, you know, sorry. Her family believed Nezu, and um, especially when um, Izuku said it. So they finally, you know, all the evidence. And plus the talking cat. So yeah, that was a. It took. It didn't take them much to believe their story. Really, um, there's a shadow. Amelia's shadow, a uh, humongous shadow, appears onto the stadium grounds. As, as Jade and Izuku look up, as they you see the the mothership hovering in, in the air, flying in the air. Give me a second, guys. They see the um, mothership in the distance. As what's above them is one of their, one of their capital ships. As um, the bottom of it opens up, as several um, beans begin to fall down, as they all land all over the stadium grounds, several of the robotic race lands, as immediately they, they open fire on everyone. Immediately, some of the ground opens up at the at the sports festival as. Nezu sighs as he didn't want to have to use these. These were, were uh, these were um, put in place for extreme measures in case of the uh, villains um, outnumber the heroes. As humongous oh, guns, oh you, oh, no, sorry, humongous you know plasma guns come out of the out of the ground as they open fire at the ships. As immediately, um, the ships open fire on the guns, blowing them up very easily. As Nezu is forced to place the, the blue, um, sorry, it's, with the help of, of, of Mr. Shield, he was able to come up with a, um, a shield generator, kind of like as a dome appears over the USJ, as it's in under a, um, force field dome, basically what it is. Several of the robots, several of these alien robot creatures, pretty much. So I don't know what to call them. I really don't know what to call the race. Um, but let's continue on. As they're immediately open fire outside of the USJ, as it's slowly the shield's fading, it's not meant to take this sort of punishment from such a advanced weapons. As 
this alien division has they simply took out any offense that um Japan had. They immediately attacked all um all bases, weapons stock uh, stockpiles, the government itself. They they wiped it clean. All around the world. The humans were, you know yeah, they didn't really have a chance. Back to Izuku as one of the aliens, well, the robotic aliens, pretty much, as the f one of the foot soldiers rushes over to Izuku, whaps, whaps Jade with his arm gun as she goes flying against the wall. As it grabs onto Izuku, grabs him by the air and throws him down to the ground. Izuku hears a weird ringing in his ears as it's very painful as he's Izuku screaming. See Izuku up as he throws him across the arena. As he goes flying into the stands, as you know, he crushed right into that cement. As yeah, Izuku's not having a good time right now. Everyone saw the the barrier disappear as everyone as something hit the ground hard. As this alien stands up on his both his feet, as the rest of the the minor troops, as they um pretty much get in a straight line. As a day uh, dignifying that this is a commanding officer. The creature sees a big shock wave as all the minor troops they go all flying. As All Might comes face to face with with this alien. And it's the general of the alien forces. As the creature kind of laughs at this, as he's like, <laughs> "You lower fire, you lower life from dare challenge me." As Alt my is confused, he doesn't understand their language. Of course, you idiots don't even understand me, so it doesn't matter what I say. You're all good as dead. Fan out. Find the target. As All Might goes in for a smash, hitting the general in the face, as all he heard was a loud humming noise. As, as the as the general just looks down on All Might. Is that all you? Is that all you got, you um, Ursling? Such a pity. Be able to hurt the fodder, but you won't be able to hurt me. You're not adequate for that job. As the alien stomp kicks all my ass, he goes flying in, into a wall. As he walks over to her, as his blades start to ignite from his hands. From his palm in his hands. As he walks over to, you know, to finish off this human. Who dare to challenge him in such a way. As immediately he was about to stab All Might as Izuku appears out of nowhere, kicks him the side of the head. As he, that, yeah, he felt that as he went flying. As he digs his, his blades into the ground, stopping his momentum. As he looks at Izuku, looks at this life form. As Izuku creates a barrage of death bolts. As they all fly in it towards the, um, towards the general. As the general walks towards Izuku, easily maneuvering around the, the bolts of electricity. As they, the bolts immediately go turn back and and strike them all at once. As this after the smoke clears, as she sees Izuku, as the guy is fairly okay. As his 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 shoulder gun is, it's fried, as he rips it off his um, body. As the silver ooze starts peeling off of him, as it as his gun reformed. Improved. After each um each time he replicates his outer weaponry, um yeah they improve. Green eyes, green hair. Target acquired. 
as he immediately rushes over at, at Izuku. As Izuku's about to, you know, try to hit him inside the head. As the guy easily maneuvers around Izuku's um, fist, grabs him by the head and slams him into the ground. As he lifts him up and slams him down again, over and over again. As he kicks him, as Izuku goes flying across the ground, the arena ground, coughing up blood. Earthling, you might have got your hands on the, the more like crystals. But you're far too young. You don't have the necessary, necessary experience to defeat me, boy. Lucky for you, our leader wants you alive. But she never said in what condition. Immediately, Izuku says, shut the hell up. You, you like to hear yourself talk. As they go in for a, a collision. Huh, you understand me, human. At least you're not a total waste of my time. This will make this battle a lot more, a lot more enjoyable for me. Hopefully you can last long enough to entertain me, boy. As he gets, Izuku gets blasted with his, um... With the side, with the soldier gun, immediately Izuku goes flying backwards. <coughs> immediately he pulls something off his, off his body, as it's a very small silverish orb. As he um, throws it up in the air, as it hovers up in the air, as it, it's in the middle of the ring. This is where our fight. I. I think you've had enough, young warrior. If you survive, maybe we'll fight again. As it immediately grows in size, as it grows a silver-like tendrils, as it latches onto Izuku, trying to pull him towards it, towards it, the main body, the main orb. As he's trying to struggle, as he's trying to shoot lightning at it, at it, as it... It, it nullifies it. Struggle all you want, Earthling. There's no escape once it has your, has it in your in in its latches. As Luna went, oh sorry, as Luna came across this scene, as this silver thing is trying to capture Izuku, as she sees Kami Woods on the ground dead. As you have, um, yeah, um, Mount Lady, she's not in the right state. She totally broke down. As Rico, you know, gathers everyone to, re, um, to, um, evacuate what's left. As they, they, yeah, uh, the shield's gone and, um, they're done for. As they have to go through the, um, evacuation route to, um, to go to I Island. Immediately... Luna sees this as her eyes glow. Yeah, she's pissed. As she jumps over there, tries to rip the things off uh, off of Izuku as... The alien's kind of laughing at this. As he's just... <laughs> Struggle you want, creature. Whatever you are. But once they have done his latches, he's as good as ours. She sees several of the... Several of the backup, um, the reserves, or whatever you like to call them. As several of the alien um, mechanical race point all their guns at um, Luna. As she sees she has, as she she doesn't know what to do. She, at this rate, she's uh, Izuku's going to get captured. And she doesn't know if what whatever process this alien has in mind for, for Izuku. That he, she's not sure if he can survive it. After all, he's still human. Even though his body is a lot more durable than normal humans, he's still human when it comes down to it. And she doesn't know what type of effect um, ripping his powers away from him will have on his body. And she looks at Izuku in, in the eye as she kisses him. I'm, I'm sorry, Izuku. I'm going to have to do this. Not because I... I kind of wish we, we could have done this a better way. As she starts... Getting more of a wolf features on her face. 
as Izuku nods, as he knows, yeah, he's he's lost his fight. As she bites down on his on her on his shoulder. As when um, Luna spits out the blood. As I'll find you, Izuku. But I have to tell you something before uh, we um, part ways for for now. As she's about to tell him that she's pregnant, as as the thing pulled Izuku from her grasp, as immediately after Izuku was pulled into the main um, silverish um, orb that has a like it's very shiny and yeah it's. Immediately he gets shoved into the orb. As you have Izuku as it becomes see-through. As immediately after that, they blast Luna as she goes flying into um, one of the buildings into the USJ. As Reiko, you know, tries to rush over there and get you know, uh, get Luna as she's fine. This won't affect her um, kids at least. Her kid, at least, as whatever kid she has. Um, she kind of momented her on um, blast or her um, fall into the building, protecting her stomach and all that. So, they, uh, un unfortunately, they were forced to um, retreat. As you have where Izuku is, as they're hovering over. Well, a ship has come above them as they hover up into the ship placing the orb in a container as the orb finally you know finally melts or the, the sorry the silver like material starts to drain as he's using a um, some sort of container as immediately he tried to use his electricity as the this was designed especially for people with Izuku's search of uh, such of abilities. As we're gonna pass to um ten about six years has passed as Izuku's location is unknown to every one of the survivors or the resistance. As the resistance has been held up on I Island. As it, it moves around, so it's the perfect refuge for the survival of the human race. As they uh, constantly go on onto land, to um, the mainland, to to try to re rescue some of the humans that were placed into camps. During this time, Luna did give birth to two two baby girls. But as you have, oh, I'm sorry. As you have Rin, one of Izuku's daughters, as she's um, trying to find her sister. As we cut to the other, I'm oh, sorry, as we cut to Izuku's other daughter, as she's just staring at the ocean, staring at the mainland. As they're pretty close to the mainland at the moment. But she can see it through the force field that's over I, I, I Island, so it moves around a lot. So the aliens hasn't. They haven't been able to pinpoint their direct location because they're always on the move. Ever since her mother told her about her father as... She's heartbroken that she hasn't met her father yet. Hey sis, why are you doing out here? Why are you always staring at the ocean? As, you know, Ren's just curious. As, uh... As Yuri looks behind, um, at her sister. I'm tired of waiting, sis. Why haven't they tried to, why haven't they brought home dad yet? Everyone's acting like, even if when, they're forgetting about him. As That's what she thinks. They're six years old. They don't understand grown-ups and, and what the situation is. As the girls... She wants us to see her dad as Rin I know sis, um I wanna see dad too, but Mom said we haven't found him yet. You two girls are at 
you know I don't like you when you're in, out, out of my view sight. Mom, we're fine. Nothing could happen. No buts. Get in. Get into the house. Yes, Mom. As she looks down on Yuri, as as she bends down to her level. What's wrong, sweetheart? Why haven't got? Why haven't you? Why haven't everyone got? Get get. I'm sorry. Why haven't anyone got dad yet? I know. I know you want to see your dad, and I miss your father, ball in my heart. But we haven't found his location. Immediately, we find his location. I'll be the first one out. You have my promise. We will bring your father home. You, you got a promise on that. As uh, she pinky promised her, her, or her daughter. As yeah, she's. She sees she sees a lot of Izuku in her. Saying his other daughter has nothing like has any any personality traits. She does, but Ren takes more after her mother, especially when she gets older. So she's going to be very confrontational, <laughs> sort of say. And Yuri's a lot more cool-minded, and she's smart for someone her age. As over these um, six years, the invaders have made a more of a footnote on the planet. As no one knows what they're doing with the, um, with the people, but people have been going into buildings and they haven't been coming out. So yeah, that's a big concern with the, um, the, the survivors. It got so bad that the heroes and villains had to toss out their titles and actually work together. So All Might, you know, unfortunately was full, was forced to wa uh, work with All For One. As they've been working with each other for these years, it was a slow, shaky start, but they eventually, you know, put, uh, put some things off to the side for the moment. As yeah, um, the human, you know, surviving is more important than um, the whole fight with hero versus villains. That's no longer a thing anymore. The aliens make sure of that, as All For One did try to make a deal with the aliens. Yeah, um, they killed Shigaraki in front of him. As, yeah, he was, he's on, you know, I want to kill them side, so... He's on the good side for right now, at least. Who knows what all for one with his? He's a devious guy. And all for one barely made out alive. If it wasn't for Kira Gary, yeah, they would have killed him on the spot. Cut to one of the many big towers in Japan. As this is the tower that Izuku's being held at. It's it's a lot more. It has a lot more, more better defenses. As over the years, she's been trying to drain his abilities. As they would always regenerate back. As she's frustrated with this. As she placed him into the tower. To lock him up. To, to figure out how to way to remove it completely. Each time she tries. Izuku's the first to actually survive. The first attempt trying to depower someone there's it, it always ends in death but izuki's been surviving somehow as she's frustrated as unknowns to um this evil alien <laughs> izuku has been going through this the going through the process of shifting as yeah his healing is off the charts being a lichen, as he's been trying to control himself over the years. We cut to a more scarred Izuku, as <coughs> his scars all around his body <coughs> from being tortured and placed into um. Yeah, he was forced to fight a lot of the aliens for their own amusements. So Izuku, yeah, he's not had a good time. 
Ziggy's wearing, you know, a, a pure white jumpsuit with a glowing collar on him. It's a glowing blue collar. And it neutralizes his abilities, so he can't use them. His electricity abilities, but they're unaware of his um, liking abilities, as he hasn't shifted yet. Ezekiel sees someone entering the hallway to his cell, as he sees several of these, um, the robotic race of the um, alien force that's guarding Ezekiel, as he sees a young, it looks like a young boy, but in closer inspection, yeah, he's not human, as he, they're guarding him like he's important, as he walks over to the cell. As he stares at Izuku. Set the device. Yes, sir. As they set the device, as it goes off, as Izuku sees the ray of light hit past him. Good, we can freely talk. This won't last long. Izuku. As Izuku, how do you know my name? I know much about you, Izuku. We can't talk much. This device won't last long. Keep our conversation private. I'm not a, I'm not your enemy, Izuku. I'm actually an ally. I've been um I've been giving intel to um Aqua, as the name she likes to go by nowadays. She keeps ch changing her name. It's very irritating. But enough about me and my little drama with you know Miss Goody Two Shoes. I've, I've already made process of exposing your location to the, to the humans that have been occupying the island you called I Island. They'll be coming for you soon. Just sit back and, rel uh, sit back and hold tight. Don't do anything yet. Don't think I don't know about what you are now. I know you full well you could escape anytime you want. Fortunately, you haven't tried yet. Because if they catch on to what you are now, they would have a better a better um better idea of how to extract the powers from you. I don't believe it's possible. Because according to Aqua, you came in contact with the crystals in a young age. So your body grew with the power, so it's more integrated in your body. <sighs> freaking, freaking solid stars. So ignorant sometimes. If you're allies with Aqua, then why you're helping that bitch? Helping that monster? I'm not... Yes, I am part of their little, little organization or little army or whatever you like to call it. Kingdom, like she like to call it nowadays. But we were forced into su a substitute. We didn't have a choice. It was either that or eradication. And I want my people to survive. So I played ball and waited for my mo moment to, to finally, um, to finally um, rebel. And you, Ezekiel, you are my golden ticket. Out of everyone of your race, you're the only one that's able to hurt them. It's just your power is not up to par yet. But don't worry. I have ways around that. All you have to do is find more. Marlot like crystals. And there are stockpiles all around the planet. I won't tell you the process because yeah it's not pretty Don't get me wrong your your race is fighting very bravely I'll give you race that and the werewolves the way you call werewolves and the one you call vampires they are a lot more powerful than I originally that I we originally suspected But, they're, but they've been um, brought down to a small number, according to the reports. 
what about don't worry your um what your risk call partners or mates yeah your mate hasn't been discovered she's safe according to our reports they've been getting, getting suspicious we're gonna have to cut this short we'll talk again izuku as the device they pick it up as they dispose of it as the kid as the android per as as data i'm a, i'm just going to call him data as data walks away as he goes back to his normal duties as during these years the hero population was cut down extremely extremely hard as the majority of lower class heroes did not survive with a lot of a lot of this lot of the civilians only only the more experienced heroes did survive only out of the top heroes that died was um Kami Woods as Mount Lady took that hard as she's been traumatized from that uh, from that incident as she refuses to um fight anymore as yeah she's going through her some issues as all the Midoriyas, you know, survive, Asashi, Inko, Jade, and um, Izumi. So did Izuku's mo uh, adopted mother, Scarlet. And several of the different packs all around Japan. And a, and a few of the vampire families as when it comes to blood, the people at I Island donate, and that's how they get their uh, blood supply. So the vampires are not going hungry. As all for one is saving the Nomus for a more drastic measures, he will only release the Nomus if the um, if it if it requires them. He's not going to unleash them just for no reason. Thank you. A couple weeks has passed as Izuku start hearing alarms throughout the whole base. As he hears gunfire. As all he heard some sort of scream. That extremely, you know, Izuku you know it came from one of the alien creatures that's been guarding him. That's been patrolling the the tower 24-7. As Izuku's not in his cell, as he's in on some sort of chair, as it's his daily time to be extracted with his try to extract all his power so all at once. It's it's number um another attempt I see, um, this will make it another five hundred uh, five hundred eight attempt. I don't know why you aliens are so hand on taking this powers. They're not going to disappear. Shut up, Earthling. Bull on full charge. Sir, um, the subject will die. I'm sure he will die this time. I don't care. We need those powers extracted. You heard our queen. As the queen wants his powers permanently removed from this Earthling. Understood. As immediately, you know, Izuku screaming as it's painful. As, as the metal door gets ripped into two, as Luna bursts in through his all might endeavor and all for one. And Todoroki came. He kind of has to. He's kind of. Yeah, if he doesn't want to get yelled at, he's going to have to rescue Izuku. He doesn't hate Izuku. He's more than willing to rescue the guy. But, yeah, uh, Jade wasn't very nice about it. As Jade told him, if you want to sleep in the, in, in the room, you're going to have to. Or you're sleeping on the couch. As over the years, um, Shoto and um, Jade got closer. She immediately executed anyone inside the room as she destroyed um, everything all the machines 
as she rips the device off Izuku, as she tears it apart, as she sees, you know, the very, what his condition has, he has bags over his eyes, as he's very pale, as he's been drugged heavily through the food, as they don't feed him a whole lot, they just feed him enough where he doesn't die. But he, he's in a very weak condition. As Shoto and um, Luna put an arm around Izuku, well, had put their Izuku arm around him so they could start walking as Luna takes the whole uh, device out. Kirigiri now. As a black portal opens up, as Izuku goes pawing through, as they immediately, you know, Take him to the med center of um, I Island. As several hours has passed, as Izuku's hooked up on a lot of machines, just giving him fluids and some necessary things that he needs to survive. So we're gonna probably stop it there. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judge my time zones. Uh, catch you in the next video.